All right, folks, Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. A uh, special treat here for you today. I'm going to do a little bit of an overview on some of the different packs that I've used over the years for self-filming and going on uh, all these different adventures. So uh, let's get right into it. And we definitely appreciate uh, all your support. We're approaching the 2,000 subscriber mark. Uh, so definitely we're thinking about doing it some sort of giveaway uh, for all the appreciation to show you. Uh, so, and also, I mean, on these types of videos, we want to bring you the content that you want to see. So any bags up here or, uh, you know, any type of gear review you'd like to see on the channel, uh, go ahead and get down into the comments. Uh, but we definitely appreciate you tuning in. we got a whole lot of fun and in store for you. So let's go ahead and get a little bit closer into it. Again, we're just kind of going over some of the different bags I've used uh, throughout the years for different adventures. And, and I, I believe that every bag has its own place uh, and for different purposes. So kind of I'm going to go through the progression here of some different systems that I use for different uh, outdoor adventures and different types of scenarios. So uh, first off, you can see here, this is a bit of the, uh, the smallest pack uh, here. This is the Moab 10. Uh, I, I will be doing some more individual type of videos uh, on these bags. And I'll also put some of the links in the description. Uh, as well, and, and, and some of these I have looked at, but need to do another uh, uh, update review on. So uh, this is the Moab 10. It's a really nice sling pack. It's heavy duty uh, from uh, 511. I basically uh, purchased this for my scouting backpack. Uh, I also do some small game hunting with it, uh, but it's a really nice quality sling pack. It is also equipped for uh, conceal and carry. Uh, I don't currently have a firearm in there at this time, but uh, I really like this pack. It's still uh, pretty new. I do have some complaints with the, uh, uh, the layout as far as a sling pack is concerned. Uh, this front admin pouch basically is set up vertically. I would have liked to have seen that uh, set up horizontally for you know, uh, laying across your chest. But I really like the organization you find here in this admin pouch. Uh, again, you know, it, uh, it will hold a lot of gear. It, it will get heavy on you real quick uh, as far as only having a single strap versus some of the other, other packs that we'll be going over here. So uh, but this is the smallest one. I like this uh, main compartment because these zippers go all the way down the side and basically clamshells open all the way. Uh, you can see it's really nice quality uh, throughout the entire pack. So again, these mess pockets here are set up for uh, ambidextrous users. Uh, that is really nice that they think about the left-handed uh, operator. But again, uh, just a small pack that you can use for EDC or scouting or whatever the case may be um, but we will be going over this again in a little bit more detail I really like the quality from 511 I'll get this zip back up correct so that right there is is probably the smallest pack uh, that I feel comfortable with I, I, I'm a gear guy uh, I carry a lot of uh, uh, camera gear and hunting gear so it does take up a lot of space again this is the Moab 10 and is really set up uh, for myself for scouting uh, the next in line is a is a nice day pack it's the assault uh, the ILBE salt pack uh, it attaches uh, to that pack and also the Moab 10 uh, attaches to uh, some of the larger 511 gear 
uh, tactical bag, so that's really nice. And, and this one does as well. I've never attached it to the ILB E-Pack, but uh, I really, really like the quality. It was a little bit expensive compared to the used uh, ILB E-Pack that I purchased. I bought, I bought this one new. Uh, but uh, I've taken it on a lot of adventures. Um, it is pretty comfortable com considering it doesn't have very much padding uh, on your back. It can make it pretty sweaty, but the, uh, the straps are very nice and very comfortable. Uh, so that does uh, make up for the lack of padding here. Uh, super nice zippers, nice uh, grab handles. Um, and no question about the quality of this. Uh, it is a little bit lacking as far as uh, uh, organization is concerned, but uh, basically you can put uh, other systems within this system uh, as, as you go along. So, again, I would like to uh, go in a little bit more in depth on some of these different packs, but uh, just kind of giving you a little bit of an overview of some of the packs that I've used. Uh, this is the LA police gear operator bag and it is probably uh, one of my favorite packs uh, that I've used over the years and, and this really is probably the one I've been using more common uh, here lately I really like the setup it was uh, it was only 56 bucks from LA police gear LA police gear comes with a high quality I believe that is 900 uh, denier polyester, uh, so it doesn't have uh, the, the the 1050 that you find on the L, or the um, 511 tactical gear. But I really uh, enjoy this pack. I use it primarily for bow hunting in my large fishing pack. Um, just for the size of it, it's really nice. Check it out. Okay, so this main compartment uh, clam shells all the way open. Uh, it is really nice. You can see how much tackle that will fit in here. Also, you still have uh, some room remaining for uh, your camera gear while you're going out on the water. So that is the main compartment. Uh, it is hydration compatible uh, on both sides. That is a very nice feature. And the admin pouch here has a ton of storage and a deep uh, recess pocket down here so you can put stuff in and it won't uh, won't fall out um, speaking of which this this pack sets upright really easily uh, that is a little bit due to the uh, the plastic hard liner on sides it's really hard to get back in once you take it out so uh, I wouldn't uh, recommend taking it out too often uh, but you can use that for a tool so to speak as well um, Nice dump pocket here in the front. Uh, just kind of put your real quick uh, catch-all items. Uh, this is a really cool tool pouch here. I don't really have a much in it. I just pulled out some of my uh, bow hunting uh, safety harness, which is usually where that goes. But uh, anyway, that is the LA Police Gear Operator Bag. And this is the LA Police Gear 72 hour Atlas bag. Um, I'm really excited to do a follow up review on this pack. It has definitely st uh, stood up to the test of time. A uh, really high quality bag from LA Police Gear. It's got a ton of room. The admin pouch here uh, is pretty narrow. You can't stick a whole lot in there, but it has nice organization. Uh, in there. What I really like about this front area is this expandable compartment right here. Basically it is uh, perfect for if you're putting your jacket or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can see here that I've got a nice butt cushion uh, in there. Uh, I use this bag uh, a lot for ground hunting. Uh, I'll be able to put my big man Frodo tripod uh, in there so tons of storage great quality it does have the uh, laser molly on there um, again I'll put some links in the, in the description for some of these older videos this one is uh, for sure due for a follow-up review there's some questions about the laser molly 
and I'll get to that. Uh, but uh, like this front compartment here, there's a lot of storage. I can put a camera in there real easily. And this front compartment also clamshells all the way open. Great zippers. You see how much room you have there. Uh, plenty of room for uh, turkey decoys. This this is my largest uh, uh, muddy camera arm. Plenty of room still though. Nice dividers, mesh pockets here in the main compartment. Also hydration compatible on both sides. Um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, my large my large uh, backpack. I use that for coyote hunting for. Uh, bow hunting, you know, anytime I'm from the ground. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on this ILBE backpack. I um, might do a modification video. Uh, it's a pretty heavy backpack, so be able to, to shed some of this extra weight with some straps that's uh, not being used. And again, you, you know, um, can attach that to salt pack uh, on here. Uh, so I'll probably keep those uh, buckles that uh, May help that to attach but uh, anyway look for some of these additional videos probably do another series I haven't done um, a backpack review series in a while so anyway I just wanted to come at you real quick with an overview of some of the different packs I've used uh, I really again think that every job has a specific pack that uh, that you can use I do have some more but these are uh, my favorites and uh, again we'll get to, get into these more individually uh, and also we'll uh, share some of the reviews I've done on these and do some updates like on the uh, the 72 hour pack here it's one of my, like I said one of my favorite ones and uh, the operator bag uh, the assault pack and the Moab 10 so anyways again we appreciate you tuning in uh, if you haven't already go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel and we'll see you next time